How's it going, everybody? George here from GP Lifestyle, helping guys dress better, look better, and ultimately be better through style tutorial and tips videos like this. And in today's video, guys, I'll be going over the five things I learned about myself and confidence after shaving my head for a year. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Number one is that you cannot attach your confidence to something superficial and as fickle as something like hair or even muscularity as a different example. What this tends to do is give people a false sense of hope that they will be young forever and the reality of time and life won't catch up to them. It also provides a false notion of self-confidence, which becomes very superficial because you're relying on an outward projection that you're confident. If your hairstyle gives you confidence, what happens when you start to lose your hair? If your body gives you confidence, what happens when you can't work out from an injury or health or whatever? What happens then? Confidence really comes from within being aware of your shortcomings and your strengths and working on multiplying your strengths and not incrementally improving your weaknesses. But relying on something as fickle and as superficial as hair and something like muscularity, it shows that it says, first of all, a lot about what you value. But then again, it shows that you're lacking a lot of depth and self-awareness. Number two, and this may hit close to home for some men, and that is that guys will judge you more than women. What I noticed when I shaved my head, I made an announcement about my channel. I'm doing it to do some hair loss treatments. First of all, there's nothing superficial or vain for wanting hair. It's a choice. But what I tend to notice is that guys will judge you more than women. My experience, my girlfriend met me a month after I started shaving my head. No complaints. Nothing. A lot of women on the street who, you know, see me when I'm dressed nice, they don't look at me like, why did you shave your head? Men will judge you more because I feel like there's a bit of projecting going on. It's just like, oh, why is he shaving your head? Oh, did you give up? Oh, you're balding, dude. You stopped covering it up. I'm like, there's a bit of projection there of some fear that you might lose your hair too, which is not a big deal in my opinion. But then again, the projecting says more about the other person judging you for a decision you made versus actually yourself. It, if anything, them projecting reinforces more confidence in yourself because you're just minding your own business and you realize, hmm, it's actually not that big of a deal. Number three, and this is the most important thing I learned, is that wearing your insecurities openly and on full display really reveals how much or how little they actually impacted you. When I had longer hair and, you know, getting fades a couple times a month, I was always insecure about how my hairline looks. Are people going to notice that I, that the corners are receding, have a widow's peak, this and that? I don't want to look older than, you know, everyone else in, in my age group. But then when I did shave my head and, and I did start doing the... Um, the treatments and the video I just made about it. Yeah, a lot of it was because I couldn't go to a barbershop because everything was closed with the pandemic restrictions, but I didn't feel insecure. That's the crazy thing. I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, that's that's me, that's my hairline. And I realized after a while, you know, really digging into like, okay, I thought it was a lot worse. I felt worse about it when I had longer hair versus shorter hair. But then I realized that it was more socially influenced in what you're supposed to look like. But it really wasn't impacting my confidence. And I realized a lot of my confidence really comes from my personality and my ability just to speak quite openly and being as extroverted as I am. And you'll realize that with anything that you're doing that you're insecure about, you're going to have all these preconceived notions. A great example is guys who can't, who really struggle talking to, talking to women. They think if they go up to them, all of them are going to think that they're weird, creepy psychopaths and that they're going to get rejected. But a lot of the time, that's not the case. Either they really don't have much of opinion about you because they don't know you, or you actually do pretty well, shockingly enough. Fourth thing I learned is that I actually don't hate the look. If my hair loss continues with all even all the treatments I'm doing and I, you know, lose even more of my hair, I don't hate the look. I think it looks pretty good. 
I'm fine with it. It's not up to trendy hairstyles of 2021, which ironically enough, in time for this video, buzz cuts are in style, which kind of, kind of, it kind of hurts my head. But this whole notion of the like, oh my God, you, you won't be able to, you know, rock hairstyles and look good. I'm just like, there's other ways that you can look good. Just because you're not a clone of every guy getting the latest trendy haircut for this year, doesn't mean you're going to look awful or bad with having a shaved head actually in some scientific and psychological literature it shows that a lot of women like balder head because the men look more dominant perceived as more masculine i don't know i kind of glazed through that article i read fifth and final thing is really about hair loss and that is understanding that your situation is not special and that's okay the last thing you want is to have a special problem. There should be some sense of comfort knowing that, okay, me losing my head and sh having to start shaving it, it's not really a special situation. Uh, I say this a lot to my friends, but like the last thing you want to have is a special problem. There is comfort in knowing that there is some, there is not even some, a lot of commonality between guys in the similar situation that I am and many others out there that should give you some relief that you're not in this alone and that if you do want to you know you know uh, do some hair growth treatments or get like a hair transplant or whatever that there are competent solutions out there and it's not all doom and gloom as a lot of people make it out to be there you guys have it that is five things i learned about myself and confidence after shaving my head for a year let me know what you guys think. I think this could generate a great conversation. If you guys made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. I can tell you're way more serious about dressing better, looking better, and ultimately being better. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And check out some of the other bad boys on screen right now. Peace.